Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. I've always maintained that as time goes by, the situation in the country is only but worsening. And leaders supporting William Ruto are going to find the ground very hostile. And very many of them will be forced either to go silent or to abandon William Ruto altogether. And it now appears that even ministers in Kenya Kwanzaa government are finding the ground very, very hostile. Earlier today, Penina Malonza, cabinet secretary for Ministry of ESC, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands and Regional Development, found herself in a very tight spot in Kitui East constituency, where she was heckled and literally forced out of the podium. Have a look at this short clip before we continue. Rama Maisha Iko Ju, Ata Raisi and Ilewa. Iyo si jambola kutumwa atelewa kabisa. Nandipo maana unaona rice kila wakati. Anangangana ameenda ulaya, ameomba pesa, tumeesa kupeo. Manake alipata pale mfuko aina kitu. Lakini, lakini, reception Panina Malonza got today in Kitui East constituency. And there are some issues she's talking about which I want to highlight in this video. She's talking about Garama Yamaisha and she's saying that William Ruto knows the cost of living is up and that's why Anangangania Garama Yamaisha Irudichini. And then she goes on to say, Ndiyo mana anaenda nje kukopa. She also talks about this government inheriting empty coffers. And then she's, she has also mentioned the issue of ID. Sometimes back, we saw the government increasing some charges on IDs, passport, marriage certificates, certificates, and she's also using that as a way to convince Kenyans that William Ruto cares about them, in that Kenyans made some noise, and then there were some reductions on those charges. That's a Kenya Kwanzaa cabinet secretary. You don't need rocket science, just as I've been saying here, in this forum to see how clueless this government is and to see how difficult it is to defend this government. All those issues Penina Malonza has raised are all contradictory to the lowering of the cost of living. If you look at Ruta Nanganya Garama Maisha Irudi Chini, the same same William Ruto is adding more taxes. How will that lower the cost of living? 
In fact, additional taxes are just increasing the cost of living. When she says Ruto anangangania ndio mana anaenda nje kukopa, that's a government living beyond it, its means. All these debts are actually they are, they are accruing interests. And with the, the weakening of the Kenyan shillings, Kenyans will be forced to dig deeper into their pockets to pay these debts. So in actual sense, William Ruto unknowingly, unknowingly or knowingly is just increasing the cost of living. Kenyans will dig deeper into their pockets to actually offset those loans. William Ruto is borrowing. And then she goes on and says that they inherited a broke government. That's also a very big lie because if you look at the lifestyle of top government officials in this Kenya Kwanzaa regime, they are living large. William Ruto has been seen with a belt over 400,000 Kenya shillings. Some of his cabinet secretaries, the likes of Kiptumba Murkomen, are wearing wrist watches over one, worth over 1 million Kenyan shillings. If you look at the government's intention to create more positions, the CAS positions, all this confirms that this government has money. The only problem they don't know how to use that money prudently. And that's why it's somehow very clear that Mal Penina Malonza is finding it very difficult to defend a William Ruto's government. And just as I've stated, when you now see the cab these cabinet secretaries now coming out in public to talk the way politicians are talking, then as a country, just know we are done. Because now when these, pa pa these cabinet secretaries are now engaging in politics of propaganda, instead of this cabinet secretary explaining to Kenyans what she's doing in her ministry, She's actually just playing politics because all those things she has mentioned, those are all just political rhetorics. And this is why I, I believe and I maintain this is a very clueless government, a government that will never get it right, a government that is moribund, a collapsing government. That comes out very, very clearly. As I conclude, I saw William Ruto and regarding Ashagwa. Regarding Ashagwa was saying that you cannot achieve the, they cannot achieve the pledges in five years. And in our early analysis, we dissected that in details. While on the other side, William Ruto is boasting on how he has stabilized the economy. As late as of today, William Ruto was talking about how his government has stabilized the economy. About three days ago, his cabinet secretary for treasury, Njunguna Ndungu, was saying that they are even struggling to pay salaries. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a government here. We just have a team that is very clueless, and what they are doing is what we call trial and error. Let me stop it there for now. Any person who may want to support our forum, for the forum to continue growing stronger and stronger, contact me through that number. For those not yet, for those who have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Iko juu, ata rais ya naelewa Iyo si jambo la kutumwa Anaelewa kabisa 